what it's for. It just feels so good. Like, sir, what did you do today? One thing. Shit. <laughs> he took a shit. Give it up! Went out to dinner. Get you to the dinner. Didn't that feel great? <laughs> I swear, if I had applause every day, I would not need therapy. <laughs> <laughs> or better yet, I would love if my therapist applauded after every session. <laughs> Bravo, Sarah. Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> so I live here in the city in a small apartment and I have a cat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as soon as I say that I get that kind of reaction. Whoa, <laughs> crazy cat lady. What is that stereotype? <laughs> you never hear of crazy dog ladies. And they're out there, you've seen them. <laughs> With their dogs and their designer bags. Putting little booties and diamond collars on their dogs, right? They even have these gourmet dog treat stores. Seriously, they look like bakeries. I went into one the other day thinking it was human zoos. <laughs> when they told me it was for dogs, I couldn't believe it. I mean, what the hell? But I have to tell you, that duck and venison cupcake wasn't half bad. <laughs> That pig ear frosting, I don't know how he did it. Ah! Some of precious paws on the Upper West Side. <laughs> so at the gym I go to, there are these signs that say no cell phone use. Now I love that rule. I don't need to hear a conversation when I'm working out. So last week, this jerk beside me gets on his cell phone. Here I am. Try to enjoy some Lady Gaga. <laughs> and I hear, hello? Hey! Yeah, I can talk. <laughs> so I give him a glare. <laughs> but he keeps talking. Oh my god! Hello! <laughs> so I clear my throat. <clears> throat> Yeah. 
hear it from you guys. I've always been big. <laughs> but do I diet? Do I exercise? Nah. I just order more unlimited wigs. <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> <laughs> One of the things I dread the most is an awkward goodbye. You know, you say goodbye. Had such a great time. So good to see you. We have to do this again real soon. Be safe getting home. Love you. And then after all that, you realize you're walking in the same direction. <laughs> Small talk, crazy fall weather. <laughs> Seasons. <laughs> then you finally get to the subway and you're like, okay, goodbye for real this time. And you realize you're taking the same train. <laughs> I have taken a train going the opposite direction just to avoid this. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going downtown. No, uh-uh, going uptown. To the Bronx! To meet a friend I didn't mention until just now. <laughs> so I take the train uptown until I feel it's safe to transfer to the downtown train. <laughs> and as soon as I do, there they are again! <laughs> and I'm like, oh, hey, I, I must be on the train, good night! And that's when I jump off the train and run up the stairs into the street because I would rather walk around in a sketch neighborhood at 2 a.m. than risk having another awkward goodbye. <laughs> oh, look! Here comes someone about to mug me. Hello, good sir. Would you like my money? Here, take it. Take it all. Anything to get me out of this. <laughs> of course, with my luck, the mugger and I would be going in the same direction. <laughs> Goodbyes. Good night, everyone! <laughs>